Did you know that 43% of millennials plan to retire by age 65? But it's like, I mean, I plan to be a pterodactyl, but do you, do you see wings on my back? No, and dinosaurs are extinct, so get out of here. Like, are you daydreaming or do you have a real plan? Answer me that. My first real investment was in Tesla. I just bought st stock in Tesla. I didn't, I didn't ask for anybody's advice because I felt like I was knowledgeable enough. I did my research. This is before anybody ever even owned a Tesla. I said, man, this is gonna blow up. I know it. So I put a substantial amount of money into Tesla at like 35 bucks and it was awesome. It made me a lot of money, but you have to be smart about your investments. You have to have a deep understanding of what you're investing in. At times it feels like you need a lot of money to invest. Like if you don't have a ton of money, then don't even think about investing, right? That's not always true. It's about understanding compound interest. It's about understanding that if you leave your money in a vehicle long enough that it will grow, it will grow, it will bounce, it will double on itself, but it's about time. It's about putting the time in and leaving it there. The market changes and the market should dictate when you get in and when you get out, but that's part of being informed. Like if you bought a house in 1980, and you said, man, I spent my last bit of money to buy this house in 1980. And you said, hmm, it's 2020. I wonder what my house is worth. You'd be very impressed with the number. If you're patient, if you can just wait it out, the results will be astronomical. All right, guys, this is how you invest for your future. Step one. All right, here we go. The most common way to save for your future are 401ks and IRAs. Contributing to either one of these programs earns you interest, gives you tax advantages. 401ks, they're often matched by the employers. Now listen, that's just free money. You start one of these accounts early and you contribute smartly. Hell, you might find yourself having a million dollars at retirement, but now here's your deal. You can't touch that money until you're retired and well into your 50s, which is entirely Richard's point. You got to think long term. All right, step two, Wall Street. Now you're looking to swim in the big pool with the big kids. Okay, be careful. If you want to diversify, look into buying stocks, investing in bonds, REITs, mutual funds, low-cost diversified index funds. Anybody understand what I'm talking about? Okay, pick up a book. You do your research. These options can make you good money, but be careful. Some of them are very risky. Step three, one of the simplest ways to grow your piggy bank is passive income. You ever considered renting your apartment for a weekend or your car when you're not using it? Or your garage, someone needs storage. Hell, man, slap a advertise on the top of your car. There's all sorts of ways of making extra bills without lifting a finger. You just gotta be creative. You don't invest in your future? You know the results you're gonna get. So invest smart and invest now. You are adulting now. So adult.